yo what is up guys welcome back to another tutorial this video we are going to be learning twixture how to use twixture um, actually i'm going to show you how i use twixture now let me show you what is a good clip to use twixture on and what is not so right here you guys can see this is a very good clip to use twixture because there are not so much stuff going on behind our uh, main character which is naruto so if you guys look uh, in the background right here you guys could see like there's literally no movement there's nothing going on now if you look here this is a i think pretty bad clip to use to extra because let me just play the video for you so there are too many things going on in this four second clip as you guys could see i'm gonna slow down right now look at this the background is moving crazy and the fight is going crazy i don't know and also this is another clip which is really bad to use to extra on because you guys could see it come on the whole screen is shaking <laughs> by the way before we get into this um let me play the video for you guys yep so i already have the uh, video clip synced with the music uh, first thing what we're gonna do is disable the resample so how do you do this um you could click d on your keyboard twice to select all the clips only the video clips and then right click go to switches and then disable resample right here once you're done go back to the normal editing tool which is um this one or you could click d twice again on your keyboard so now we can move on to our next step we're gonna go find uh go to video effects which is right here and then find twixter it should be at the bottom somewhere here we're just gonna use uh twixter pro right click on the uh, video clip and then go to properties now where it says playback rate okay so we are going to put two because we see the big movements in every two frames that's why so for your clips it might be different it might be two it might be three it might be 2.5 i don't know so whatever your number is you just put it there so for this it is two so i'm just gonna put two and now we are going to make sure that it moves in every frame so i'm gonna move one frame forward one see we see the movement okay so now finally we can apply the twixer pro to our video clip so just drag the default one do not worry about these because they are mine uh preset so first one we're gonna start with um bg motion And you don't really have to do anything right here and for the frame right here I don't know if there's any difference if you change this but we are just going to put 23 you might be asking why 23 because that is our um, video frame rate if you don't know how to check that just right click on the clip and then you can see it right here and play the video for you there's basically no difference so now we are going to put 50 that's the half speed i think that's normal hold on oh you guys could, can see let me pre-render this for you which is um shift b i think it looks really good now we are going to put 25 because 50 divided by 2 is 25 and you might be asking well, how did i get two from is from right here so for you if you get like three you just have to divide 100 divided by three whatever you number get that's your half speed you guys could see that i put 25 because it's the half speed of 50. let me pre-render this for you see it looks so much better now i'm going to do is i'm gonna do like half speed of 25 which uh, i don't really know i can't maybe it's like 12 or something i don't know I, I need to pull the calculator real quick. I'm really bad at math, but okay, 12, 12.5. All right, now let's see how this looks. It should look way better now. Yep, you guys can see it looks really nice. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So. So now we're gonna animate and we want the video to be faster 
around in the middle so this I'm gonna go in the middle which is about right here and if you're this thing is not moving just make sure you have this locked so uh, right now you guys can see I'm in the middle of the clip and I am going to put 25 actually you know what? I'm gonna put 50 and then I'm gonna go at the end of the clip and put 25 so for these keyframes I think you just have to put um, half half speed of this I don't know you just put half speed that should work it should look way better as you guys can see it looks really good but um there's this weird glitch I don't know you, um, Sony Vegas has this weird glitch if you ever come across this um, glitch just move your keyframe backward one frame backward or um, forward that should fix it if it doesn't we'll try something else oh dang there's still um still the the glitch let me move it to oh what the heck i just clicked something else <laughs> wow what the we still have the glitch all right you know what I'm gonna move it back to like in the middle and change this to um, 40 maybe. Hopefully that works. Yep. So, I mean, it's working. I mean, so we're done with the first clip, so I don't know. That looks really good, I think. I think this one is going to be really good so again uh, I'm just gonna put three and then make sure that it is moving in every frame yeah it does so drag the default by the way you could save this settings uh, just come here and rename it save it and then click this save preset and then you should find it over here. Uh, let me try something different this time. Uh, over here, I'm probably gonna put like, I, I forgot what's the half of um, 33, hold on. I need to check real quick. <laughs> Oops, 16. Going to pre-render this and see how it looks. That looks very good to me. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it, uh, make sure to leave a like, comment,